Hello! This is the first video of our new series, UI5 Best Practices and Tips. In this series, we'd like to show you the latest best practices and news in UI5. You can find all mentioned links in the info box below. In this first session, we want to show you how to generate apps using our demo app templates. UI5 is available in two different versions, SAP UI5 and Open UI5. Open UI5 contains a subset of the SAP UI5 libraries and, as the name suggests, Open UI5 libraries are open source. Each version has its own demo kit, which you can see on the screen now. As we want to show you how to generate an app from a template, this distinction is relevant. SAP UI5 offers the app templates inside of the web IDE, as we'll see later. Open UI5, on the other hand, offers them as downloads or as fork from GitHub. On the Demo Apps page of the Demo Kit, you can find template apps that you can use as starting point for your app development. Today, we will show you how easy this can be. In the Demo Kit, you can find all template apps under the respective headline. For our scenario today, however, we'll switch to the Web IDE and create a worklist app using a template there. This is more comfortable than the download option, as we'll be able to configure the template, for example, give it a name, a namespace, and a service. So here we are in the SAP Web IDE. By right-clicking the workspace, you can select New and then Project from Template. Our Web Template Creation Wizard opens. Then you can select the SAP Fiori Worklist application. We enter a project name. Next, we choose a data connection, for example, the Northwind OData service by the OData Foundation. An explanation on how to set up the Northwind connection is available in the demo kit and linked in the info box. Now you can see the application settings. You can choose between two application types, SAP Fiori Launchpad or a standalone. A standalone app will have its own entry page and can be used as viable app. The SAP Fiori Launchpad option generates the app as part of the Launchpad. This means that FLP-related features are added to the app so that it can run within FLP. Then we enter title, namespace and description. On the right side, you can see the preview again and now which entities will be filled with which data. We choose an object collection, for example, products. The object collection ID is automatically set. Now we only have to choose an object title, the product name. Finally, we have a working app with all needed files in the respective folders according to our latest best practices. We run the index.html file to see if our app works. And it does! Next time, we'll show you what features the template includes and which best practices are covered.